Hi, my name is Stephanie Williams and today I will be further exploring the theme of counter-narrative. To achieve a greater understanding on this topic, we'll be looking at a simple activity based on stories, specifically analysing the use of Indigenous Australian Dreamtime stories. Looking into the basics of counter-narrative, a definition provided by Richard Berry states that counter-narratives are perspectives that run opposite or counter to the presumed order they present alternatives to the dominant discourse and act to deconstruct the master narratives. In reflecting how this could be important in an educational setting, counter narratives provide the opportunity to teach diverse, transformative ideas compared to the same traditional ideas that rotate through generations of education. This idea of diverse, transformative ideas is vital in any educational setting and is what I kept in mind when selecting the specific arts-based activity. We can now watch the following illustrated film based on the original Aboriginal Dreamtime story titled The Rainbow Serpent. I've added a small section of the video for activity today. you've collected from that video compared to what you've learnt previously. The Rainbow Serpent is one of the most popular creation stories that is continuously retold by many Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. These creation stories are often spread throughout social institutions such as family, government, but specifically schools in the form of visual texts available for the children to read. When you Google creation story, however, not a single link would take you to the story of the Rainbow Serpent. However, the Western story extracted from the Bible, a book sacred to Christianity, is easily accessible from any of these links, directly inferring to the belief, respect and popularity held behind this Western idea. For our activity today, spend some time developing a list to compare and contrast the story of the Rainbow Serpent to the book of Genesis from the Bible. After that, brainstorm different creation ideas that you've learned as a child or growing up, or maybe research into different creation stories held by different cultures. Counter narratives exist to offer perspective that differs from the dominant Anglo majority. In this case, to provide an Aboriginal perspective on different pieces of information or knowledge. Because these stories offer a counter narrative to the mainstream ideals created by Western society, these stories are sometimes understood to be fictional and what they've been taught to believe from the educational system or other majority social groups is the correctly developed truth. See, unconscious bias and negative attitudes towards minority groups have detrimental effects on the success and motivation behind a student's learning experience. Through the inclusion
inclusion of diverse, transformative curricula compared to the more ethnocentric curricula, according to Traeger and Yarrow, students are more likely to experience a positive cognitive and emotional experience in an educational setting.